Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we have Tri versus the Tank, two of the best teams right now I guess and this is the playoffs of the Clash Champs Cup. So let's enjoy the action, let's jump into out of the action but before we're diving into that one quick reminder. If you would like to support, uh, support us creators, make sure to use the creator code and there's a good chance right now because there's there are really good offers right now in the shop. So if you're buying any of those, make sure to use the creator code. For me, it's code ITSU. Thank you so much for that. Let's get started with the first attack and Vatang is starting things off with Wade a second. Wade, they are actually using the Super Valkyries. Oh my goodness. Okay, and now invisible loons to funnel. What is going on? Already this is just the first attack to start things off. And we have the loons for the basically counterpathing into the Inferno Tower. So kind of obvious loons, I guess. This is why he brought those uh, invisible loons. And now he's getting into the base, getting into the entry point with his queen. And there are the Super Valkyries. So let's see how they work and if they can get any more value. Um, first, first Rage of the Super Valkyrie is dropped. But the Tornado Trap into the Giant Bomb. Oh my goodness. The Tornado Trap is basically killing everything. Every single bowler nearly died. The last, the, the next Yetis are flying. Wow, there are so many things just died. That was insanely baited, I guess. The, the smash into that entry point. That was really nicely done, and now we have now we have the back end. The question is, is this somehow enough? Because he has still a ton of bats with him, because he did not brought any rages, because the super Valkyries already provided those. So let's hope that this is somehow going to be enough because this would be an awesome attack. I mean, super Valkyries is not something which we're seeing too often. It would be awesome to have like teams coming up with, with something cool. The Eagle is actually targeting a couple of the bets and hitting a couple of the bets. That's a quite nice improvement, I guess. Now the freeze. Why is he not freezing the, the, the Eagle as well? That's kind of confusing. But still, this is not going to be enough. The Eagle shots kind of kill his dreams. Killed his dreams to get some of this triple done. The queen is now dying as well. There's some more minions on the outside, which is trying to get some more percentages. But if we're completely honest, if we are completely honest at this point, I don't think that this is going to be a triple. But I mean, let's get for like let's go for as many percentages as possible as we could and somehow finish this attack off with something um with something to move along, I would say. So Really great idea, I, w I have to say, but the tornado, like one single trap destroyed the entire entry. Like the idea of the attack was genius. The trap placement was even more genius. So really nicely done with that tornado, rotating everything away from the entry point. And this is causing all of the bolos getting rotated into the town hall. And this is causing a huge, huge death. Kind of like whatever to all of the bolos. But... Either way, we have the next attack coming in, and this is going to be Maxi. And we already saw that Tribe is liking those Inferno Dragons. And to be honest, why shouldn't they? Like, you should abuse them as, as much as you could, because they are so broken right now. And I'm pretty sure that there is going to be a nerf at some point. Like, those Inferno Dragons have by far the highest hit rate. So let's see if they are having once again the upper hand on this one. The air defense is not going down. It seems like, oh, the air defense is having, like, 1 HP, so really low on HP the, the last air defense, but this is 18 troop space basically used for one Tesla. That's not that much, to be honest. So let's see if we can somehow get the comeback, or like if Maxi can somehow get the comeback in this attack, because, I mean, the entry, the lightnings did work, so it's just the Yeti which failed. So, uh, well, let's see. All of the dragons are in rage really early just to get all of those loons into the base. He wants to tank as many black mines as possible. The first two black mines are already hitting those, those loons. The next red mines are in there as well. The tornado trap is, um, is, is getting triggered quite early. So this is not a bad start at all. The queen and the king are pushing around the bottom side. The blimp is getting used as well. Frozen up scatter. Sweeper and Expo, that's an insane freeze amount over there. Now the town has been taken down by some loons and obviously the, the dragon of the clan castle. And this is looking so far not too bad. The queen is still alive on the outside. Obviously he has not a royal champion which can like help him on the back end because he had to use the royal champ early on. But see, this is looking so good. The multi-inferno tower is trying his best to do some more damage, but it's 
just seems like those Inferno dra Dragons cannot die. The last Elephant, which did not go down in the beginning, is trying his best to somehow defend this. But guys, this is looking like a smashing 3-star right in the beginning for Tribe. Really good start into this match for Tribe. Maxi is smashing this base with Inferno Dragons. The Queen still with her ability left. He's going to use that most likely soon. Yep, I know that uh, we had a ton of discussions about people kind of swaying things. Like swagging spells, swagging abilities, whatever. Um, just to like prevent their like... I don't know, like just so they can think they're cool. Um, we always said, okay, swagging is, is worse because you want to go for time in most of the competitions. So that's why I know that I, Maxi won't swag. Like, makes no sense. Now the next attack is in. Vatang is in with Lance Loder. And he is going in with a Queen Charge Lalo. Starting off with a nice Yeti Blim to get the Expo and the Scatter. The next one, or the next phase of his attack is going to be wall breaking into that multi Inferno Tower. So let's try to ident uh, identify the plan and somehow see what is possible on this base. So first off, he has three more wall breakers, um, already one wall breaker used. So what could be the possible goal? First off, um, I guess he's going to wall break into the Wizard Tower right next to the Eagle. And then he's going to keep wall breaking so his queen has access to this town hall. That would be my guess. The Nardo is going to start off from the top side and the king is going to most likely support the queen on the outside. The only thing which I'm wo uh, worried about kinda is that this plan is quite risky because you need to start with the Lado at some point. This charge takes forever because one of the problems is there are quite some storages right now or like high HP buildings for example the Eagle which takes a long time, but at the same time, no reach, uh, no rage was needed. So we're already at, at, at like the 1 minute 40 mark, which is really like, this is kind of deep into the attack. So, well, this is taking forever, basically. Now the, the wall break. The wall break is not making it due to the warden. The warden is just shooting the wall break and like finishing uh, that, that wall breaker career. But, well, we have still some war breakers left and the queen needs to get the town. That's what it looks like. The next rage is keeping the queen going. The king is keep funneling. The war break is getting placed. The war break is not opening up this warden compartment, which should be all right. Two black mines are hitting those healers. So now it's getting even more risky. And there's one minute and four seconds. This has to be a time fair, right? Like this is so short on time with the... Oh my goodness, with the queen charge. And he somehow needs to make this. 50 seconds. It's a 50 second Lalo. This needs to somehow work. All of the minions already placed at the top side. The Royal Champion is helping with place from the top side as well. All of the loons are getting into the dangerous part about the scatter and entering the, um, the enemy queen. His own queen took down the town with her ability, but now she's kind of like stuck over there for now. The Royal Champion is switching over, like not going for that queen, which means the Royal Champion can keep deal that damage. We have 23, 10, 22 seconds left. The minions and everything are helping. They're grouping up. No red mines collected so far from those minions at the top side, which means they're all alive. And now we have the loons and everything coming together. And this is... It's, Restar with 10 seconds left. So this was a 40 second Lalo. And this is exactly why Queen Charge Lalo is kinda quick on the second phase. Insane attack from Lance Loader, really nice attack. And now we have Eve Jack. Yeah, I call him the Chuck Norris of Clash of Clans and I think that's pretty, pretty accurate. So let's see what exactly he has up for us today. Um, he has 5 Lightning, so this Inferno Tower is the most, like, that's the common thing to go for I guess. And um, he's going with Super Witches. So Super Witch Gaming is a thing again. So Eve Jack coming in with the Warden Funnel really nicely so far. Then he's going to charge into that Town Hall with his Super Witches. The question is, is he going to switch the Siege Machine? Because right now, right now he has the Blimp selected. Is that plant? Is there somewhere a Blimp in this plan? Or what exactly is going to be... The setup for this one. First off, luring the warden back over to the super witches. The next thing is going to be the king, which is pushing all of the super witches inside the base, which so far looks really good. Uh, he, di he did a nice job of that. Now the first warbreak can get into the tunnel. Yep, there we go. Nicely placed. So he's just opening that town compartment. The king is walking inside as well. Now the rage. He's going to use the warden ability. That would be my guess for the tunnel because he wants to save the king and all of those barbarians. 
That's what I'm said. Really nicely done. Saving all of those barbarians. Saving the king and everything. And now we have those healers with those Koku loons. The first black man is getting triggered by those loons. The healers are still keep going. We have the blimp getting in as well. The blimp is meant to take down the scatter or like tank the scatter. Which then is like tanking for the Royal Champion. So really nice plan over there. And there's no single Inferno Tower on the back end at the bottom side for this Royal Champion. So there's nothing which can stop this Royal Champion. The enemy queen got taken down by the Super Witches. The own queen is taking down the next scatter and the royal champion there is just no damage on that royal champion even a giant on the outside to tank for the royal champ this royal champ is just killing everything because there are so many tanks in front of her with the yetis with the giant with everything now with the super witches and this is going to be a crushing three star if jack is doing it again this guy is just insane and we have those super witches just over killing that base so really nicely done minions and the archers already placed at the top side and this is going for sure be the next three star for tribe so tribe so far two out of two the tank one out of two not bad attacks at all so far this is going to be a really exciting war just one tornado trap one tornado trap so far was the only difference that those two clans are not exactly the same at this moment when it comes down to three stars so let's take a look at the next attack we have young han coming in and he is a lalo god he is going to do an electron that that's what it looks like but so far it looks like he's doing it into a sweeper no wait a second that's actually yeti blim what is the clone spell for he has an invisibility spell he has a couple of lightnings he has an earthquake what is going to be the plan? This plan is going to be crazy. Young Han is first off starting with his heroes around the clan, uh, around the town hall side. This means really far away from that clan castle, which means whatever is in there, it won't bother his heroes. That's already a great start. Tornado Trap is out of the picture as well, which means this tornado was meant to be annoying for a town hall blimp, I guess. And now we have... What? We have a clone... A clone spell for funneling the outside Tesla. What is this? Like, I guess he needed some more loons and a clone spell was able to provide him that. Something like that. And now a crazy Royal Champion trick just to make sure that the core is taken down. The core expo, the core scatter. This is just insane. How do those pros have those ideas? This is... I, I don't know, like that's just insane. Now we have the clan castle coming out, which is a ton of headhunters and a ton of archers. So he somehow needs to get rid of that. Otherwise, this would be a huge problem for him. Using the Tesla, uh, using the archer, using the loon, just to keep everything inside this poison, making sure that the clan castle is taken down. And now the Lalo is getting started. He's not starting into the eagle. Instead, he's starting into the royal champion, making sure that royal champion is taken down quickly. But the only problem right now is kind of the queen. The queen is hiding behind this king when it comes down to the headhunters. Which means those, like this queen, is going to stay up forever. But at the same time, the lava pups are doing an insane job of tanking the scatter. Now the freeze, he's just barely missing that, missing, missing that queen. Now a ton of red mines getting into that, those loons. And we have the loud at the top side. Now one headhunter, he's once again freezing that queen. Making sure that she can be taken down by those two headhunters. Both are targeting the queen. Queen is down. And this is the last defense taken down by those headhunters. And this is going going to be a crushing overkill three star how in like how on earth are you supposed to defend a plan like this like such creative masterminds so insane it is just so amazing to watch those pros attack because I have no clue how they come up with those ideas. But we have already the next attack coming in. This one is going to be another lightning attack. Softening up those two scatters. Is this going to be another world champion trick? No, yep. Yeah, okay. This has to be, right? There are two invisibility spells. Where is he going to place it? Where is he going to place it? Two invisibility spells on the... Uh, onto the wizard tower, onto the inferno tower. So he's getting this royal champion trick done. First invisibility, second invisibility spell. And now the royal champion bounces, And there goes two scatters. That is so amazing to watch. That is so amazing to watch. Another, another invisibility spell. That was not as good, I would say. I guess he wanted to get the... Um, I guess he wanted to get the... 
Inferno Tower out of the way as well, but this won't work because he made the cannon invisible, which is not the best thing to happen at this point, but still, the heroes should get hopefully everything he needed to go for because he's going to take down this Inferno Tower. He already took down the Royal Champion, so this is already great value, and the Eagle is next on the menu. So this looks so good for, for now, and then the Lalo should be an easy snack, I guess, from Kronos. So let's see. Queen, uh, wait a second. Why those two headhunters? Or oh, like, were those headhunters on the King? I guess they were on the king and that's why they were sending over there. The king is struggling against the eagle. The eagle is going to not, like, the eagle is not going to go down. But the queen is taking on the eagle now. Even with those two expos on her, this should be no problem at all. And the queen has taken down the eagle. And now it's all about the Lalo. How is she going to place the Lalo? He's going to play it from the left side. That's what it looks like. And he's going to not place the warden just yet. Warden in a strange angle. That's... That surprises me, okay. What is the, why is he dropping it right there? Now the headhunters, now the warden ability. Great warden ability just to make sure this blimp is actually reaching the town hall. I guess that was the purpose for this blimp. The blimp is, is getting into the tornado, but it should be alright because the hound is tanking. Those loons are slowly making it into the multi, but there is so much damage. The loons are dying like flies right now on those inferno tower or like those town hall beams. Now the town hall is down. Now there's less damage. So the question is, can he power through the back and with this loon army, there is one wizard tower, two wizard towers, three Tesla and one air expo. Is this enough to somehow save this base of ge uh, getting triple? We have 40 seconds left as well. This is not too much time. Time could be an issue. We have the freeze. We have the first haste. There's another haste which he can place. The next haste is getting placed. So we can get into that into that expo. The expo has been taken down. The sweeper is over there as well. But there are just so many loons. This should be a triple power-wise. The question is, is the time enough? The time is going to be the, the big... Uh, thing which is going to decide if there's going to be a triple or not, but so far it looks really good Those loons are going down the clan cast is the last building and this is another triple for tribe Three out of three they're on fire right now on the other side We have the tank which are not like bad at all like it's two out of three But still not good enough at least for now for winning versus tribe But so they have to get a comeback at the same time They have to keep tripling on the other side. They have to hope on their defense now. We have diff can diff be the difference? Well, that, that was a crazy joke, right? Okay, now let's get back to the attack. We have first off the lightnings, and then we're going to see a Lalo attack. Where is he going to place everything? Like he has a slammer right now, the the Yeti for the funnel on the right side, then I guess a Yeti on the left side as well, because he has two Yeti with him. Um, first super sneaky goblin is taking down a little bit, and now he's switching to the lock launcher. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. But he needs to fund this left side. Otherwise, his heroes won't go inside. The king is already walking onto the outside again. The lock launcher is not opening up like the the connection between of the king and the eagle compartment. So not sure how those troop like how those heroes should come back to the to the entry point. Like the queen, maybe. Yeah, the queen might go back. Yeah, okay, the queen should go in. But the king, the king is kind of distracted. The king is. Where's the king going? The king is now going for that skeletons. Are you kidding me, king? King, go for that. No, the king is supposed to go for the royal champion. What is going on? Stupid king. And now the king is going for those headhunters, which isn't the worst. Don't get me wrong. But still, it would have been way nicer to get this enemy royal champion out of the way. But still, looking all right for now. The queen is taking down the enemy queen. Now we have a clan castle on queen action. But the problem is... There's the scatter, and that's dealing damage. Now the poison, really early queen ability, which is good, because this means the queen has some hit points left when she's getting out of the um, out of the hound pops thingy. And the scatter is actually going down. So, okay, so this is not the worst uh, value so far. It looks not too bad. The royal champion is taking down the bottom air defense, which is surprising. Not sure if that was the best value, but still, looking all right for now. The queen is... And uh, the, the Royal Champion is funneling the bottom side. Now the haste. Town Hall is activated. He needs to freeze uh, he needs to freeze it. Some more loons and he needs to freeze it again. The tornado trap. Oh my goodness. This tornado trap is actually killing it. The second tornado trap, which try placed, is just insane. This tornado is rotating all of the loons away. Can this still be a triple? The warden protected most of those loons of the damage. There are more loons coming in. He has two haste spells left. He needs to place those haste. But is this enough? Does he have enough loons? That's the question. The warden is going, like the enemy warden is going down. The inferno tower should go down as well. 
but there is not enough power left. There's one air expert and one air defense left. And this, like the next tornado, which is just insane of the base building team of Tribe. That is so crazy. Such a great tornado rotating the loons away from the town hall. And this is causing some huge, huge problems for Diff. And this is going to be the next difference. Uh, the next defense, I'm sorry. The next defense for Tribe. Whew, that's... That's a rough, that's a rough uh, start at this point. Okay, so now we we have to, like, Vatang has to hope for some defense versus Tribe to somehow get back into this. And we have now the next Lalo attack. And it, it's, it looks always so easy. When those pros are using Lalo, it always looks so easy. But uh, when doing it on your own, it's never, it is never so easy. So, so far so good. Use the lightnings to get rid of the scatter. And now another lightning to complete the Royal Champion trick for this multi inferno tower. So entry wise, this is looking pretty damn good. Now he needs to get rid of that town hall. He needs to get the town hall. That's the next uh, on the menu. Meanwhile, we have the Royal Champion now getting placed into the multi inferno tower. So this is looking pretty good. The Royal Champion though, if the Royal Champion ability has the proper ability on the Wizard Tower, that will be bad. The Wizard Tower needs to go down and the Wizard Tower is going down. So the Royal Champion ability is catching that Mojang Inferno Tower so, so far so good. But the King did not go inside. The Queen is not going for the Town Hall. This is not looking good. The Clan Castle is coming out. He needs to use the Queen ability early. Queen ability early to take down the Clan Castle, to take down the Lava Hound. But nothing so far is going for that. Uh, nothing so far is going for that Town Hall. So this is not looking the best right now. The Tornado Trap is playing with the King, not being that useful at the po at the point. Um, freezing, the Inferno Tower needs to freeze again, he needs to freeze again, otherwise, no, he is, he is deciding to not freeze again, this means the Town Hall is going to stay alive, and now he's going to place the Slammer onto the Town Hall with that Hound in front of it. Is this good enough to strip, strip this base? We saw so many swag attacks already, that I guess this is still possible to get, especially since the Slammer is now taken or already took down the town hall now the enemy royal champion has been taken down as well which means there are no important heroes left anymore in this base which can actually threaten this this lalo and the slammer we want already is open the slammer is open up but now everything is getting into the core into the scatter so far it still looks pretty good for how like kind of like bad the entry worked with the king walking around there is so many loons the loons are just floating the rest of the base there is so many loons it is just crazy we have now the elephants shooting at those loons but there are just too many of them the wizard towers are trying their best the archer tower is still alive on the left side shooting a little bit as well the next loon is getting placed on the elephants the elephants should go down the wizard tower went down as well and now it's only this one archer tower left and this archer tower has obviously no chance versus all of those loons time shouldn't be any issue either which is going to be another three star for a tribe tribe is just insane right now and chasing the dream of the perfect war i guess so we have one more attack from the tank coming in and well this needs to be a triple and then we have to hope for some sort of disconnect or something like that i guess even though this is not how we would like to win but otherwise there is no chance of the tank coming back but still the question is can tribe get the perfect win or like the perfect war that's another question Next, uh, Urek is going in as well, and he's starting off with a blimp. He's doing the Queen Charge Hawk Rider army, which I think he used quite a bit in Legends. And he was really good with that, and especially something which I felt like is pretty cool, is that... Wait a second! Oh, wait, wait! The Queen... Oh my goodness. The Queen barely survived. He was really underestimating those, uh, those super minions. Those two moments are just so insane. So losing the Queen ability early is obviously not the best thing to happen. But it should be alright for someone who's that good with Queen Charges as Urek. Because what I wanted to say is he used this Queen Charge Hawk Rider army already in Legends. And he did that to perfection. So he was really high up there. And um, I th I'm pretty sure he used Queen Charge Hawks instead of Queen Charge Hybrid. Which was pretty unique. Because, well, no one defends Queen Charge Hawk Riders. Because I feel like they're kind of... Way weaker to that, but, well, let's see. Now the Warbreak. The Warbreak is not making it to the second wall, which means this, the last Warbreak is actually trolling and going to the wrong wall. So he won't be um, having the access to the scatter, or like to the scatter compartment, which is not the best, but still, Hawk Riders have to start. 1 minute 40 left. So he has to start this attack. So the Eagle is first on the menu. The Eagle needs to go down. The Eagle is so important to face 
those um, those hog brothers because those hogs have way less HP than you think. Especially when you're watching like a hybrid attack, it looks like those troops can never die. If you're just, just using hogs, and I tried this, so I'm talking like this is just like my experience I had with hog brothers, and it was not the best. So those hogs are just so weak hit point wise, hit point wise that you if you're not taking um, if you're not proper paying attention for one second, your hawks are going to be dead. Like, it's crazy. Royal Chamberlain is taking down the, the bomb tower, which is awesome because this means less damage on those hawks. Multi Inferno Tower is last, and now we have one scatter left, which is tanked by the Queen, which looks really, really good. And this looks like the next fish star in this war, and the next fish star for the tank. So let's go, let's go. Nice job by Eurek. Really nice Queen Charge, even though the Clan Castle time was a little bit... Ah, a little bit, um... Unfortunate, let's put it like this. But either way, he nicely recovered this attack. Queen is taking down the Bitterhead. Hogs and the Warden are taking down the rest. So, great job. Really nice Queen Charge Hog Rider attacks. We don't see those often, but it's always a pleasure. So, now it's all about the last attack. Can Nibrax get this triple in? Can he triple this base? He's going with Sui Lalo. I mean, Lalo, we already knew. Nibrax is always going with Lalo. The question is... What type of Lalo? And he's choosing to go with the just straight up Sui Lalo. Skeleton spells, no clone whatsoever, just straight up skeletons, rages, hastes, and freezes. That's it. First war break so far was a success. He opened up the compartment a little bit better. Queen, uh, or like the, the royal champion with the king, and the wizard funneling each other. The yeti on the other side of funneling as well. And now he's placing two skeleton spells just to tank those inner heroes and defenses. Which means his heroes are taking way less damage. And this is actually a really small idea because it's kind of the same idea as someone would, uh, who would do like Inferno Dragon attack. So, really nicely done. Now the clan castle is coming out and there's actually, there's actually witches in there. Which is surprising, but it should be alright because he dropped the poison nicely and the witches are running right into it. So, the witches are supposed to be dead. We have the queen still left with her ability because there was nothing important in the clan castle. So, nicely done. He should be able to take down the wizard tower and he should be able to take down the second wizard tower or the expo. One of those two, depending on where the queen goes. The queen is shooting the expo, which means the expo is going to go down. Now the Lalo and the blimp. Wait a second, this blimp will never reach the tunnel. Okay, so I guess the blimp isn't meant to go for the tunnel. Yep, it's going to meant uh, it's going to be um, to go for the for the uh, scatter, taking down the enemy royal champion as well with those skeletons. So nicely done. The Lalo is splitting off a little bit to the out to the outside because there were no loons. He already placed every single loon which he had, which is normally not the best thing you want to do. But still, it should be alright because there are so many loons just getting hasted into the tunnel. Another freeze, just making sure that those. Um, like the tunnel itself is having no chance. Now the rage, now the warden ability, a nice split of those loons. The ice hound exploded as well. And now he should get into the back. And he has one haste, he has one freeze, guys. This is such a crushing three star, which means tribe with the perfect war against the tang. And they're going to advance in the next into the next round in the Clash Champs playoff. So really nice job to tribe. They're really, really um doing a great job of recovering kind of in the beginning of the season. They were looking kind of sketchy, but now they're really on fire. So nicely done to Nibrax. Really good job. And so far, so good. The easy triple is getting collected. Like easy, I wouldn't say. Okay, never mind. Not easy, but the triple, the triple is getting uh, collected. So nicely done. And this means the war is going to end on a 15 to 13. GG's to both clans. I hope you guys enjoyed today's match. It was a crazy match with a ton of great attacks. And well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya. And bye-bye.